letting us in. Marines from the U.S. Marine Corps Forces Cyberspace Command getting in a little training at Fort Meade's Training Support Center. More on the Marines and the center in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Fort Meade's annual Army-Navy game is coming up, and a little piece of the installation is being sent to Los Angeles. These stories and more, but first, anyone familiar with military life knows that training is critical in maintaining skills and readiness. For the Marines at Marine Corps Forces Cyberspace Command, getting that training means getting a little creative. Recently, the Marines used Fort Meade's Training Support Center, or TASC, to accomplish some of their training goals. The Mar 4 Cyber G1 got out and uh, essentially did a virtual stress shoot uh, where we had multiple stations set up where we were doing different workouts. The whole intent of the exercise is to get the blood pumping so that way whenever they actually get inside the engagement skills trainer or the EST, then whenever they pick that rifle up, then they're gonna have to they're gonna have to really focus and think about what they're doing. They're gonna have to calm themselves down. It allows that extra level of stress to be brought in into the marksmanship training. The Marines themselves seem to relish the opportunity. If there's a way to keep us battle ready, we'll find it. As today, we were doing tire flips and working on uh, team co uh, cohesion as everything had to be done as a team. Regardless if we had to wait for one, do one, it's all one and done together. After that, we always make sure to hand over with simulators. We are not allowed to use the ranges around here, but we still find a way to stay battle ready regardless of the situation. We're always going to be ready. We're warriors at the end of the day, regardless of what we are. Besides the chance to sharpen their marksmanship skills, the Marines are preparing for a local shooting competition later this year. We'll bring you coverage of that when it happens. Meanwhile, in a related story, since 2017, Fort Meade's Training Support Center has undergone a change in leadership, an upgrade to the facility, and received hundreds of thousands of dollars in training equipment. The community got together and started reevaluating what type of training needs needed to happen here, and they, uh, they spoke directly with DA. And so they, they, the DA, DA then pivoted, and so instead of shutting us down, they realigned us under Fort APO. So duty station, of course, here is Fort Meade, but the, we fall under the flag of Fort APO. As we showed earlier in the show, the Training Support Center is Army, but works with all the services to help meet training needs. The mission, of course, is providing innovative, uh, flexible, and uh, re realistic training enablers to the Army the joint forces, interagency inter forces. So with, with this mission in mind, uh, we do what we can for the training programs of all the supporting units around us. The highlight of the center is the Engagement Skills Trainer, or EST. The EST is a simulator that helps service members before they go out to the range. Before the soldiers actually go down on the range, uh, they kind of get, get an idea of what they're doing um, before they're going live and using actual rounds. I think it's a super effective for preparation to, before they go to the range. For soldiers, the EST is helping prepare for a new marksmanship standard. With the new qualification, um, I feel like it does set the standard for the new soldiers and also, uh, anyone in the military uh, with um, the different engagements, especially now in new combat urban warfare. It is a great tool, um, especially going to live fire ap uh, applications. We will do what we can to support your training program. Uh, the units come here, they let us know what they need, and we try to provide it. Elsewhere, since September, soil samples from 75 World War II era Japanese incarceration sites, including one at Fort Meade, have been collected as part of the National Monument for the World War II Japanese American Incarceration, located at the Japanese American National Museum in Los Angeles. Hoshina Seki from the American Buddhist Study Center in New York City was selected to collect a sample at Fort Meade for a very special reason. My father, was picked up by the FBI and he was uh, brought down here. So um, coming here was very meaningful for me uh, to be actually at the place where, where my father was. Seki collected the Fort Meade soil samples from the grounds between the Arts and Crafts Center and Auto Skills Center. According to historians, that's where the Japanese incarceration facility was located. We'll have much more on the story in a future episode of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. And that brings us to the annual Army-Navy football game. It's coming up Tuesday, November 8th. This year, the festivities are starting a little bit early. The tailgate, courtesy of the Central Maryland Chamber of Commerce, starts at 2 o'clock with kickoff at 3. At last check, the Army has won three straight and five of the last six. We'll see if the Navy can right the ship this year. Meanwhile, that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.